there are six classes of nutrients. Let's start with that. So you have your carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. And then there's vitamins, minerals, and water. I only want to talk right now about the first three because those are the ones that are going to provide an energy source to you and fuel your activities. So what I want to also talk about is the importance of the low glycemic index. Now a lot of people are just starting to hear about this, so I'm going to try and quickly explain what it's all about to you. So first of all, we're talking about carbohydrates. So in that food group, you're going to, we're talking about uh, your breads, rice, pastas, your fruits and vegetables, these are all carbohydrates. They give you energy, sometimes instant energy. We don't want you to focus on those foods that give you instant energy and I'm going to tell you why right now. Here's my chart and let's just say in the morning you have a breakfast uh, and you have, let's just say whole wheat toast and some juice. Those foods break down very quickly to blood glucose or blood sugar. Okay, they're going to break down into a sugar in your system. They're going to raise your blood sugars really quickly. And what happens at that peak point is the body's pancreas is going to release insulin. Now insulin's job is to drive that energy into the muscles so we can be active and have lots of energy. But what's happening now is we are getting too much a surge from a lot of our refined uh, products that we're eating. When that happens, when the insulin uh, drives the uh, blood sugars down, you have this fast rise and a fast drop. When you bottom out, you become hypoglycemic and you often become a little bit shaky, you don't feel so good and what happens? You start craving carbohydrates again. You want something sweet, a sticky bun, you want something, uh, some chocolate. Uh, you want another cup of coffee because you're feeling low, your energy's down. So what happens? We eat those carbohydrates, back we go up, and again, insulin is secreted from the pancreas, and if we have too much of this, insulin is a fat storage hormone. So uh, this overabundance of insulin circulating in our system actually puts us into a weight gain mode. So that's not what we want, and we call this the roller coaster effect. We eat a high glycemic food, we crash. We eat a high glycemic food, we crash. What we want to do is bring our blood sugars down. So when we eat a low glycemic breakfast choice, so let's just say we're having some yogurt and fruit would be a great choice and there's so many other wonderful choices you could have. Your blood sugars just uh, rise slowly and they come down slowly. We are now in control of what we're eating. Our energy supply is more constant. We're not getting that huge fluctuation. So we're now, our body is able to start releasing body fat, plus we have consistent energy.